put together. Okay. And I'm going to go from the beginning. I want everyone to understand what's on the stick, how to use it, what it's all about. All right. So, first is in the power on, and you plug it in. I mean, everything's ready on the stick. So, we're just going to go through this process of where to find what, what is where, and what the stick's coming with. I get a lot of questions from a lot of people asking, where do I find this? How does that work? I understand. It's new, and there's a lot going on. I've made these sticks with the most possible entertaining quality and basically toys you can think of. I wanted to have the most entertaining experience. Now, first off, the stick has got a launcher. Even if, let's say, you want to get rid of the password, the password crashes, whatever, within a few seconds of seeing the screen, a secondary screen should come on. Um, so it's going to take about a few seconds, I think. And this will give you your alternate launcher. If not, I'll go check real quick and we'll do this again. And oh, there it goes. And there's your secondary launcher. That secondary launcher has all the apps you're going to be using. If you want to see the other apps, of course, you can always go down to Fire Amazon TV, the little icon on the second row, underneath the mob drill. Uh, we're not going to do this in order. We're going to do this with the quickest and the most efficient way I can think of. But uh, right off the bat, you can see with your programs. Uh, let's go with the first one here is Cody. Um, Cody, everyone's pretty well used to. It's Cody 17.3. seems very stable. I like it. I haven't tried 17.4 yet. Um, but I'm, I've noticed on the 18, the Leah, uh, a lot of these add-ons don't work properly. They're still working with that. Oops. This is... Um, Mob Joe. Mob Joe is very, very good with live channels and stuff. Uh, very quick. So I enjoy the quality is so so. But it's uh, most of it is 720. This is your TTV, another secondary app to uh, Cody's movies. There's movies and TV shows. Um, I've noticed a lot of stuff is coming out of Russia, but there's a lot of good uh, movies and stuff there. LED TV. This is Cody's competitor. If you get tired of Cody, this is where you go. Um, it is technically it's similar to Cody. It is what I would uh, make if I was going to make Cody. It's got all the basic add-ons already installed into it to see what you want to see. Movies, shows, sports, live channels. But they've created it so it's just that. They don't have all the looking for finding. You find something, it's right in front of you, you get it. I'm going to show you that next. This one here, Live Lounge is beta. Uh, at first it was running great, now there's some issues with live channels and stuff. So I wouldn't use that too much. Um, over here is YouTube. If you're watching YouTube now, then you know YouTube is the first of all of them. They have everything there. I can watch live movies and stuff there. Never knock YouTube. YouTube is fairly quick. It's right there. You can always use it to find some shows and stuff as well. Down here, okay, this element here, don't worry about that. That is there specifically for LED TV. That is part of the media center structure, XBMC, that Cody also uses. This is a fun toy. This is your app toy. You can buy and get all your apps like Google Play has from that one. In fact, it is a Google Play variation of it. Uh, Troy Point, I think he's the one that created that. Um, thank you for that. That was very good. Uh, I have, and I have the ES File Explorer. The only reason that's there at all is because it is attached to a zip. If you decide to download a file that has a zip on it, that's how you unzip it quickly. This is there only for one reason. That's there for the Live Lounge. Live Lounge requires a player. And so do some other ones, uh, like uh, Terranium and stuff. So if you download those or want to use those, you can, using the AppToy TV. Um, but you're gonna need the XMB, uh, player, MX player to run them. Auto Start is what started this launcher. And I'll go right past 
the registry, all the requirements from Amazon. So if you don't want an account attached to this, for whatever reason, take off the account. Do be aware that if you take off the account, you have to go back to coding, go into settings, and set the third-party add-ons so it to run. Because I think, if I'm correct, it'll automatically shut that off once it deregisters. Everything else will still be where it's at, but you have to click that switch so you can run Kodi properly. And of course, this is a downloader. Those who know how to do these sticks and stuff, know how downloaders, the easiest way to get anything. Uh, you can actually just put a website in there and directly from that website, download whatever you want onto the stick. Um, the image you see before you came back very same way. All right, now let's go to Mobdro first. Mobdro. Very slick, very simple. I got the games up front because, well, as you click on videos or stations, you, the favorites are going to show up here. So I was last night playing with this, and I put these favorites up here because I know these are going to be most demanded um, channels for most of the clientele now, uh, especially this week coming up. We have some incredible games, some um, Game of Thrones for HBO. You go to channels, you get your regular TV channels. That's what it's for. Example of a channel. CBS. Clean, smooth. Spike. So you get your channels over here. Um, you want to also sports channels are very good on this one. That's why the other ones uh, you go to ESPN too. And not that much of that. Yeah, music channels, shows. Now shows are twenty four seven streaming. You don't pick a show as an an episode. So if you want to watch per episode, that's different. But let's say uh, I better call Sal popular. It's around 24-7 from the very first episode to the very last episode and beginning again over and over and over again. That's what they do with these. With Mobdro you have commercials which I find incredibly interesting. But some of the commercials are from actually the cable companies. So it's getting paid for the same way everything else is getting paid for. I think it's how they stay legitimate. TTV. Now TTV very useful. It gives you your movies, your TV shows, etc. in a very plain format. You can search. I've had some good search results. Uh, the movies are of fairly good quality. Uh, most of them. Yep. Okay, okay. I'm um, getting out of this one. Uh, just look, I think you just hit back enough times. Same thing with the mob You want to get out of mob just hit back, 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 and get out of it. Is gonna pull up like Cody does. I'll pull up the different sites and the quality it shows you of that site uh, that contains the movie for you. And of course, play. There you go. Very good quality. Oh, um, you're gonna get some of these little things. I typically just hit back. It might pop up twice. Let's see. And then I'll just continue playing from that point on. That's their advertising. Again, um, it's going to be based on your uh, streaming ability, but it, it is fairly smooth and it's a very good quality. It says 480, but that's the video itself. Back, back again, back again, back again. Yes, on the exit, and there you're done. I'm going to scale over LED TV right now. That's a big one. That's like Cody. Uh, there's a little more in there. Uh, beta, the beta version of Live Lounge. You see how these guys come out. I was curious about these guys. Um, here's a mixture of stuff in here. Uh, I can tell the got yeah, sports. Let's see. Uh, let's try this first. Oh, on this one, you got the settings are set up. You can remove a channel if you don't like it, um, add a channel. So this is a good idea, for example, disabling XXX if you don't want your kids to see anything. Um, if you don't like into sports, you just uh, get rid of that. Uh, whatever you want this for, you can use it. basically stick with that. Right now, the live channels aren't so great, most popular. 
Let's see what we got here. Get the first one. This one, you have to hit the down first, then OK or play. Yeah, it's pretty quality. S, uh, it's a thousand, this one. Okay. Back, to get out. Back again, back again. That was episode Prison Break, season five. Okay, Game of Thrones, season seven. Season seven, there's no season seven. <laughs> All right. Um, I just add some same advertising guys. IPTV to see if the channel's working. United States. Uh, we'll go ABC. Should be an easy one. Nope. So the live channels are still down. Uh, movies and shows and stuff are playing fine. Back, back, back. And you're off. Now, LED TV. No updates required. Read what you see in front of you. If it's no updates required, you say no. If it says updates required, you update. It's telling you. If you hit yes, I guarantee you're gonna be sitting there for a while as it downloads and installs. 298 channels, I told you. I already got all the channels and everything preset. That is, I went through all the downloads and stuff. I like extreme, you have two different TV guides. Regular TV guide and extreme TV guide. Um, I just like the extreme TV guide. Uh, it shows more information in a different format. Uh, it looks more like the Bright House menu, which is why I like it. Is there a build in the beginning, um, the database for it? Now mind you, you're looking at a stick. Your cable box is bigger, has a different processor, has more attached. You have a little tiny stick in the back of your TV set. Okay, we're back. Um, you can see in the left hand corner the percentage of the channels being installed. It's been about three and a half minutes so far, the seconds show in front. And here are all the channels as they pop up. Um, you see, as you can see, very straightforward. Now, I've noticed that uh, maybe the timeline's not the same. Uh, KTIA, that's LA. LA's five o'clock in the morning news, but it's not over here, so play when I'm not playing the DVR thing here. It comes on. Pretty clean. Pause. And you put the oops. Oh, by the way, this is what happens when you actually hit the home button. You still go back to the original home screen no matter what. That is your button for uh, see, right back. Um, so let's go AMC, the fugitive it says. Click, play, live. And it's a fugitive. Gives you all the information. It's not bad. There's some volume on this. You want to go back? Okay. Hit your pause button before you get out of this because it'll play in the background. Then you go back and you're back here. If you don't do that, you can hear whatever your, your channel is still streaming. Back out of here. You also have your sports guide, your movies, your TV shows, um, TV catch up, same thing. You're watching episodes just pass by. Um, if you want to look at the actual apps themselves, you go to Extreme. And I'll show you the apps. It's sort of like the settings are going to be here. Uh, kids, apps, there you are, there are your apps. Uh, you can download apps here. You can, here, I'll show you real quick. There's your uh, sports devil. Okay. So it's using the same basic stuff. Back out of it. Back out of it. Okay, so it continues that so exit.
just like Cody, slow. That's basically the more advanced Cody, if you think of it that way. What Cody should be, it's LED TV. Let me relax the tickets, then we're out. Now, last but not least, Cody. On the Cody, I've put basically three things in there, but the three major things. I have the Ares Wizard. Now, on the Ares Wizard, all I'm using on the Ares Wizard is their tools. Uh, there's other tools from other places, but I've gotten used to, and well, I think most people have, to just go to tweaks and maintenance, etc., and do what you gotta do. So I put there the Ares Wizard that has all the builds that it still works. Some of the builds don't. Um, the build that I use doesn't. It's on Ares, but it's not working for some reason. So I went directly to the the, the developer of the build and I use his direct site and I downloaded the information and it's in that. Um, the second is uh, the Cody tool system, KDIL. Um, they that's gonna make sure all your stuff is where it's supposed to be, it's gonna take place of, uh, if for example, you know, your TV add-ons vanished, if it's if wherever it's at now vanishes and it will be covered, okay? Uh, and last but not least, JDigs. The J Diggs Wizard is, in my opinion, the best. He, this man has put a lot of time, you can see it, and a lot of effort into building a quality system. And I've used a mega build because it has all the builds that he's created pretty much in one. But that's, that's, there's one that's not there right now, the, um, the Spirit, but uh, the Xeon, the Eminence, the Kids. Um, I didn't include the adult one. If you want, you can add that later. You have the Wizard, you can change this however you want. Let's get inside and see what's going on. I presently have Xeon as the opening build. We'll pull out a Xeon and go back into it after we're done. You can see the work you put into it. There's a lot you can do with this. This is usually the, the person, the most power over his coding. This is the basic build, okay? You have all the movie shows and stuff. It plays pretty straightforward. Um, you have your Covenant, which is a new Exodus. Uh, Bob, I like Bob. Um, Elysium, which was supposed to be the new Exodus, but it's not. Now let's go and do the switch. You guys have fused Cody, you know all these buttons already. Uh, networks. I'm going to see something real quick. Let's go to um, uh, someone asked about Netflix. Okay, hit Netflix. It doesn't take you to the Netflix site. All it does is present to you all the Netflix shows. Again, you got to deal with the Cody slowness. Um, this is not like uh, video updates. Cash, all that stuff. Good thing about the build I this I am using here, the builds and the pieces and the tools, is that it maintains itself. Uh, updates, cache, thumbnails, um, all the little nuances that will eventually cause a problem later on on other systems. This is supposed to take care of it. Uh, if you know how to get around, you'll see. Let's put this uh, pretty pictures. I don't think I have a full wall, low list, closer wrap. Closer wrap is closer to what you see when you're on Netflix, so we'll keep it on closer clips. Oh. Didn't. Uh, hi. Working. Updates. Okay, thank you. Okay, this looks more like what you see when you're on Netflix anyway, so now you got your shows. These are Netflix shows. Um, straightforward, basic. So you can hit the, the network. Now you have all your networks. You can go into it and pull your network up the well. Um, but you have your basic uh, shows for your per network. Now they're popular. There's some more up here. Okay. Or if you want to just go up to here and pull it out. Pull it out. Now let's go here. You know, Light TV as well. And they have some pretty good light channels. Um, as you saw, it's got mob drill, which doesn't work as well as the live one. So why are we even bother? Kids on library. Favorites. Android. Oh, here. Switch. This switch. I'm exiting out. Yeah, exiting out would close the Cody itself. 
switch will get you out of this build and into the mega build environment which means basically everything else besides your channels and stuff you can still actually access all your shows your tv stuff from the mega build platform setup your libraries your movie libraries your favorites there you go power turning on and off if you have this attached to your pc there you go pc gaming android android gaming it has an emulator attached so you can play other games on this i've played some games but um i wouldn't play anything high end although gta 3 does work really well i was impressed and some of these stuff works really good too um these are different builds okay you see what's going on here this is the one we just came from if you have your nephews nieces kids over and want to just see gmpg put that build on it's all cartoonish they probably stand it to watch in the background uh, so you have the capacity to go and redo your quickly and go back to the Xeon. Whatever you put it on, once it's set, it'll come back and log into that again. If you don't put anything on, it'll log into this screen. There's a couple more things I want to show you as far as um, the Cody stick. I'm going to let this go to the end real quick. Did I just say real quick on Cody? Right. We all know Cody is not the fastest. Uh, if you want speed and are willing to give up some quality, you can go ahead with the mob draw all the time and TTV. TTV is not that bad. The quality is pretty good. Um, if you want the, you want to find the middle ground, LED TV. Um, if you're just a diehard Cody fan, the Cody's there. But the best builds, the best tools, the best everything. There's a lot in here. For the novice, you just take what you want and watch what you want. For the more advanced, you can really play around in here and have a, and do some extraordinary stuff. My stick is also a game box. Um, it does a lot more than just do this. Now this is a, I've had questions about this. I'm gonna let them go and you'll see the log. This happens sometimes. Um, I don't know why uh, J, the J Diggs one does this, not all of them. Um, I'm glad it happened. I can go through this to begin with. Let's go to where it says Android. All right. Now, if you see in your top left-hand corner, you'll notice log storage, emulator, etc. Um, this will pop up sometimes. I've noticed you just go to your system settings. In this case, it's Xeon, Xenon, four X seven two whatever. Uh, system settings. Go there. Go to system. Go to logging. On your right hand side, you see enable debugging logging. Click that off, and you're back to normal. Uh, as I've mentioned before, there's a lot on. Look at the weather. Yeah, they have a lot on this. Just on the Xenon alone, not to mention the rest of um, of your uh, builds and stuff on the Cody. As you can see here, these are the apps that are on your uh, Fire Stick right now. Through the Kodi, you can apply these very same things. So if you want to, you can actually set this up to um, turn on right into Kodi from get-go. That would be your um, LT. Uh, instead of loading it, it, of course you want to load in the launcher first in case something happens, you have some place to go. And then it'll load the second one, three seconds later, it would load into Kodi, into this uh, build if you want. That way, um, as soon as you turn it on, everything is there on the Kodi. If you, if you love Kodi and that's for you, then it's right there for you to do. As I said, there's a lot attached to this build, a lot attached to this actual Fire Stick setup, the ultimate setup. All right, we're going to go back now. Actually, we're going to go to the home page. And the home page pops up here. I'm going to do a little trick in a minute. I'm going to actually take off to deregister it and show you what happens when you have no registration onto it and how to compensate for that. Um, back to the original launch. Uh, here is the LT, uh, the LT I call it, um, the auto start. When you go to the auto start, you can add anything to start up. Okay, at the start of the, of the fire stick. Uh, if you have any questions of 
how to use the fire stick again you go to settings if you go to device builds oh, sorry not device help you'll see a section here that shows help videos click that and videos for the Amazon Fire Stick itself will pop up. While we finish setting up your device, let's take a quick tour of your new basics, setup, etc. So any questions you might have, you have all, pretty much all of the how-tos in the Fire Stick in videos. Also documents are there as well, quick tips, etc. Hold down the home button, apps apps allow you to see all the apps and of course there's a lot of apps here because this is a dummy account I've set up for clientele and they've all added their free apps so these are pretty much most of the free apps that are there now when you take off the account these free apps are going to vanish I mean they'll exist but they won't be in this page anymore compensation for that I have a variation of Google Play made through a gentleman called Troy Point um, at Toy TV is the go-to if you want a game for example educational final games games basic games are going to be here okay but you're not limited if there's something specific that Amazon is not want you to have for free um, you can actually go ahead and search and let's go for like a G T A space free Enter. unfiltered results run these okay um, I have GTA 3 online. Uh, typically, that's a ten dollar game. Um, I actually pay for mine. I don't say you shouldn't pay for yours. Uh, if this exists. You can use it if you want on your at your own risk. Although there are other people like this, Terrium. There you go. Um, every piece of software you want is here, and maybe some stuff you don't want okay but it's there even without that being registered if it's your product you should be allowed to use it as you deem you want to use it you pay for it uh, so I've taken off all the restrictions on that let's go ahead and go from here and deregister the the stick and see how this works. You're going to have to go in to Cody most likely and reset the third party source switch. So if you want to register and deregister, you go here. If you register in your name, it's going to be yours with your app showing, etc. The Cody though will stop working until I say you go ahead and you switch that third party switch. It's not deregistering. It has no account attached to it. And let's see how well it works without an account. Now, we're gonna do this the quick uh, you know, we're gonna do this a quick way. I said the quick way. Oh yeah, the quick way. I'm gonna unplug, I'm gonna turn it off, turn it back on. There's no account. By all pretense, it shouldn't come up. Now remember, you already got the account, you put the, the account was in there, you put your Wi-Fi in there, it knows your Wi-Fi account. All that information is still on the Amazon stick itself. So it will still go to that same Wi-Fi. It's still all the apps are there. Physically they exist on the stick. So you still have access to those apps. The trick is in trying to find where to find the apps, how to get to them. The trick is obviously the launcher instead of using the fire stick launcher you can use your launcher you can access whatever apps you want through that launcher you also have the shortcut keys on your um, Amazon remote 
it should take about three to five seconds. After three to five seconds, the program should kick in and take over. Five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. Okay, more than three to five seconds. More like 15 seconds. Okay, but as you see, there are your apps. Go to mob, go to mob draw. There you are, just like it was before. Sci-fi, there's sci-fi. It's all there. Um, the only thing you have to worry about, here we go. Cody, I'm not quite sure. Usually what happens on Cody, it will turn off the third party switch. Not quite sure why Cody does that. It's the only one that does that. The other one's still working on it. But, um, no, it didn't. Oh, yes it will. It will do the third party switch when you go to a new user. If you change your account to, uh, let's say, um, your personal account, switch it out, it will do that. But let's see everything's still running. No account. I'm gonna hit the home button. Nothing happens. Go back. Alright, so let's see. Non functions with no registration. Home button's not there. Buttons are there. So, and okay, the three functions that do not work when the account is not registered the home button, the options drop out menu on the side, and Alexis is gone. No Alexis. Uh, let's close out of here. Close out. Exit out. Force close. Now, I saw that force closed, that closed, trust me, much faster with that way. Uh, let's go with Amazon Fire TV. This, so, your settings here, and your Amazon here. Go here, just for the laugh and giggles. Nothing happens. Settings. Go to settings, brings you to the home kit page, and of course they're gonna ask you to register. Go to settings, settings. You can change your network if you move it to a place to a different stick to a different place. So you can use your stick anywhere still. Um, it's not going to allow you to access anything that Amazon personally owns, obviously, until of course you put an account in. I'm going to put the account in. Now that I re-register the account, there's always a new account. So go to Cody and see if the third party sources have been disabled. You'll know immediately because it'll go right into the Typical 17.3 blue screen instead of the build screen. You should just be able to turn on the switch and it should come back on. And if this will happen if you want to change your account. Oh, okay, because it's the same account, nothing happened. Good, everything's fine. The uh, reason I prefer keeping an account on these things. Oh, I gotta re do this. T 
tedious little thing here. I put all the Oh look at that, there's a few. If you notice there's another thing here. Amazon will put its priority money, its cash apps up front. Oh shoot. Alexis, for example. What's the weather like for today? In Seattle, it's 81 degrees with clear skies and sun. Oh, okay. well, let's change the location. Hold the options button down. This asteroid will hit the Earth in one hour. Button down. Go to settings. Go to, I think it's device. Location. Stick in your zip code. And okay, so what's the weather like for today? Currently in Champa, it's 97 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Alexa, what? Who's playing football this weekend? Between 12 a.m. on August 19, 2017 to 12 a.m. on August 21, 2017, the football games were as follows. Washington Redskins vs. Green Bay. Alexa, what's the speed of light? Light's top speed is 299 million seven. Now, Alexa also does connect with your Echo Dots, etc. Um, now, these functions work if you have an account. So. And of course, accounts have to be the same for everything. You want it to be that way. So if you decide to put your account, remember the, the, the two things you have to keep in mind, of course, they're consistent, uh, that you're going to have to look for your Kodi switch. Um, it's going to be in your systems. Um, when you first turn it on, it's going to be a blue screen. You're going to see a, a cog in the top. you find several YouTube videos on this. Go f turn the cog. Uh, to the settings, go down to add-ons on the system settings, add-ons, and then switch uh, third-party sources. Once that's done, you shut it down, come back on, and it should be just like it was before. Um, all your fun apps and functions, etc. Um, I had a couple while I was away, as you can tell. I had to change the video a bit. But that's from the actual app toy. Pull that up from the app toy. It works great, by the way. It's fun. Uh, you have more convenient uses. This is the ultimate Fire Stick build. It's got everything you can want and you add and the most flexibility uh, with or without accounts, uh, with or without the Amazon store. You can do what you want when you want with a product that you bought and paid for. My belief is a lot of us guys who are brought up in way back when, when computers first came out before there was internet, is if you bought something, you should be able to do what you want with it. And you bought it, it's yours. You get a car, you take it apart, put it together. Every computer, every bit of software you buy, since you bought it, it is your, it is your property. I believe that you should be able to do what you want with it. Uh, most companies that produce these products don't 
believe that. That's why they invented toss, terms of service. They can toss you out of service. They can toss you out of using their software because now you're only basically leasing their software. Every game you buy, every movie you watch, every computer you, software, the tablet, laptop, instruments you buy electronically now has a TOS agreement. You're agreeing to use their product for the purchase of it. If you want to, go ahead. Personally, I figure if I'm paying for it, it's mine. And I, I agree that if you have it, and I pay for my services. I pay for services I want. I pay for HBO now. I pay for um, these services here. I paid Amazon Prime. I also pay for the product itself, and I just think I should be able to do what I want with it. It's mine. Um, if you agree or don't agree, please hit that. If you want to know how to put this together, how to create this ultimate build, this ultimate design, subscribe. If I got any people that want to do this, then I'll spend the time and the effort to create this. I've created several videos before, and I've never had anyone look at them or anything else. So I'm putting this out there just in case somebody really is interested in something like this. It is everything that Amazon Stick can do for you. I, I mean, I have, I have. This is mine. I switched sticks in between the, the recording, so I can show you something. I have Grand Theft Auto Three. I have these games. I play these games. Uh, the Fire Stick is very good. Much better than the boxes that they have. These are generic Chinese boxes. The Fire Stick allows you to play games, Bluetooth link it with your, um, with a Bluetooth uh, gamepad. I have an actual. I bought a Shield, Nvidia Shield uh, gamepad, uh, cheap off off or something on some off site, and it works perfectly with the uh, Amazon Stick. You can take it with you anywhere. I travel a lot, so I always take it with me. I take it to hotels and I watch what I want when I want. And I'm not stuck with whatever they with the shows that they will have there, or having to pay their extra fees for the shows that I want to watch. Um, uh, I already have it while I pay them. It's like paying for the socks I'm wearing. If I have socks, I buy more socks. Uh, it's, I, the, the hardware is a reliable company, the hardware they have and everything else. Um, I will say this, one more thing. This is the second generation stick, which is way better than the first generation stick. Uh, faster, smoother. And I believe, by the because of the price drop and the way they're selling, that a third generation stick is on, it's on its way. Probably buy it before Christmas. Uh, it sounds logical to me to have a product like this ready for the next sale. So keep your eyes out for that. I don't think the box that they have, the box they have is great. It's super fast, much more memory, smoother performance, but not enough to compensate for the size. The stick is very narrow, very small. The only thing I wish it would do differently besides the RAM, the having more RAM and more internal memory, really is the power source. I wish there was a way to just power it directly from a TV. The TV itself is, does not output enough, most TVs, I've seen a couple that actually do, but most TVs do not power enough, don't give up enough juice to power up the Amazon stick. It will turn on and turn off. I also have seen a few bricks, uh, the power supplies, they've actually come with the the stick that work functional enough and they turn on to turn off. If you have an issue with your Amazon stick rebooting itself, that's power. That's electric. That's not enough power in there. That's one of the main issues of that stick. It needs a lot of juice. It gets hot. Um, it has no ventilation for cooling either. So if it keeps, if it, I use it continuously, it hasn't fried yet. And I've had one for a year. I have another one for eight months, and neither one has fried. So they seem to hold up very well. The, the, the catch is uh, how long can it sustain that heat. So if they have to increase the ventilation, that would be great. If they can figure out how to pull the juice, enough juice out of the TV set where you don't have to plug a brick to a socket to get it running as well as it does, that would be awesome. They can just stick it in, plug it in, behind the TV set with no extra wire showing, that's the best way to go. Um, if, uh, if, if, I, if you ever find a TV with two USB connectors, or if there's a way to Maybe a hub that would. One of the experiments I'm going to work with next, if uh, you guys want to, I'm going to show you how to actually expand. It's an experiment I'm going to expand the memory on the stick so you're not stuck with those five gigs. 
If I'm correct, I might be able to push up to 128 gigs. Monster amount. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to take it. <clears throat> no, there's no actual breaking apart, taking it. It's just a, a trick I'm going to play with to allow you to use more memory, external memory, when it's not supposed to. Uh, but again, subscribe if you want to hear this stuff and see what else you can do with this. Uh, if you do, I will create a link that I'll put onto this uh, video that will lead you to the play, a site or something. Uh, this idea depends if you guys want to do this, where you can download a kit that will actually build the stick for you. Click, click, and it'll be done. Probably take about 20 minutes to build the whole stick from scratch uh, with the software involved and attached to it and everything. But 20 minutes considering the time and the effort of finding the sites, downloading the stuff, unpacking it, installing it, uh, editing it, all the sources, repos, like all that stuff, it's not that bad. It could take you hours, literally hours, to build a stick like this. So um, if you're interested, again, subscribe. Let me know that you're interested in this. And I will give you all the stuff you need. Take care. Have a great day.